Now traditionally, a filet of fish sandwich was made with a piece of cod, but nowadays pollock, breaded and deep fried, along with tartar sauce, American cheese, and a soft steamed bun. I've heard people say it's McDonald's best sandwich. I say no, but as the summer approaches, a homemade fried fish sandwich is all right by me. Sends me back to those summer vacations. Now I know a lot of people love the McDonald's filet of fish and I'm not here to yuck your yum. There's a reason why I have never and will never eat a filet of fish at McDonald's and it's not just because I think the concept of fast food fish is gross. There is another good reason, but more on that later. So first let's make the tartar sauce. Now tartar sauce starts with mayo and to make a good one that's the right consistency, we're going to make homemade mayo first. Now first we're gonna add one egg and then we're gonna throw in a whole bunch of acidity. Take a lemon, we'll squeeze it half now and then adjust the acidity later if needed. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of vinegar. You can just use lemon juice, but I like to use both. With fried fish, bright acidity goes really well, which is why fish is usually paired with lemon. A hefty tablespoon of Dijon mustard. About a teaspoon of dried onion. This is more for the tartar sauce than for the mayo. Then I'm gonna add about a half cup of oil to start. Salt. Pepper, insert the immersion blender. Now mayo is an emulsion of oil and other water-based ingredients like egg, vinegar, lemon juice. And since I'm making a tartar sauce, that balances out of wax, so my mayo's a little thin. To fix it, I'm going to add one additional egg, turn the blender on, and then slowly start to stream in more oil until the mixture thickens. And I want a thick mayo, it's gonna hold to this fried fish. Ended up with about two eggs and about a cup of oil. That's the right consistency. So to that, I'm gonna take some dried parsley. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon. For tartar sauce, we use a dill relish, not a sweet relish, and then some capers. A little bit of sugar, and mix that all up until it's very well combined and looks and tastes like tartar sauce. Thick, acidic, I get that relish flavor, it's seasoned, that's a beautiful tartar sauce. We can let this sit in the refrigerator until we're ready to use it. Now here, as you can see, I have four portion pieces of fish for four fish sandwiches. And they've been salted and hanging out in the fridge. And all of this was done a few hours earlier. Now here I have about a 12 ounce piece of cod, about a half a side of cod. And I'm gonna use one of the burger buns and try and cut two equal pieces that'll fit the bun. Now originally McDonald's used cod, which is what I have here. Now they use sustainably sourced Alaskan pollock, which we'll discuss in a minute. This piece of cod can turn into four fish sandwiches. And generally what people do is they'll turn this and they'll fry this whole piece into a little square and put it onto a sandwich. But the proportion of breading to fish to bread in the sandwich just gets thrown way off. So just like some people find a smash burger to be a nicer eating experience than like a big steak burger, we're gonna treat this the same way. So what I'm gonna do is just cut this piece of fish in two equal halves. You see how thick that is? Just like a chicken cutlet, I'm going to slice it in half to give me four thin patties of cod. Just carefully run your knife through the center of it to make sure you don't tear it where the fishmonger has deboned the fish. Then you wanna lightly season the fish on both sides, place them on a wire rack, and then we're gonna let these chill in the fridge uncovered until that salt sort of pulls the moisture out, the fish reabsorbs that moisture, and then the surface has dried out. Maybe like an hour or two. Now it's about two hours later, you can see they're nice and dried, that salt has absorbed, and it's gonna just give a little bit more flavor, seasoning, and better texture to the fish when it's cooked. And now we can talk about the main reason why I'll never eat a filet of fish at McDonald's. And I will add a caveat. McDonald's claims that their fish is sustainably sourced. But when it comes to the food industry, my trust has been broken too many times to take that in blind faith. In the fishing industry, bycatch refers to the unintentional capture of fish or other marine species by large trawlers. Trawlers are huge fishing boats that can capture hundreds of huge fish at a time. And while there is technology that they use to help limit bycatch, do you really think a ship this big has much control over any of that when casting such a wide net to satisfy the hundreds of thousands of pounds of fish McDonald's needs for its filet of fish. So while I always like to shop locally in general, I'm much more strict when it comes to fish than I am at any other protein. And I choose to either shop at farmer's markets when they're available or my local fish market who I know every day gets fresh fish off the coast of Montauk. And yes, besides that, the concept of fast food fish is disgusting. And if you don't believe me, 
Take it from this ex McDonald's employee that can promise you the filet of fish is not fresh by any stretch of the imagination. So if you're cool with all that, you do you, but I'm gonna do me and make a filet of fish at home like a sane person. Now I'm not denying McDonald's claims, I'm just saying I'm not eating it. So now we need to handle our dredging and breading. This bowl, we're making the dredge, and for that I'm just going with about half cup of all purpose flour. In this bowl, we're making the batter. So I'm gonna go with half cup of flour, and then a quarter cup of rice flour. A little bit of parsley to both, maybe a teaspoon. A little bit of dried oregano, about the same amount. Some paprika, and then some celery seed, which just goes really well with fish. Maybe a teaspoon or two. And then if you like a little bit of heat, a little bit of cayenne. Salt, black pepper. Get that nice and mixed up, get that nice and mixed up. To this, gonna add one egg. A little mustard for flavor. And then about three quarters of a cup of seltzer water. Add in that seltzer water, and we just wanna combine it really well and then assess the consistency. I don't want it too thick. I want it to kind of run off the whisk once it's completely mixed, but still be thick enough that it coats the piece of fish. Now in this plate, we're going straight panko. And I'm just gonna season it with some Paprika for color, a little bit of cayenne. But don't go crazy with the paprika, it can burn. Then all we have to do is take our piece of fish, drop it into the flour dredge, make sure it gets well coated in the flour dredge and then dust off the excess. Then into the batter. We just wanna dip it, decode it completely, pull it out of the batter, allow the excess batter to drain off and then we can add it into the panko breadcrumbs. And just like we would chicken cutlets, we wanna make sure that we scoop up some of the breadcrumbs off the side, sprinkle it all on top, get it completely coated, and with our hands, and sort of press that breading into the fish. Give it a flip, sprinkle more breadcrumbs on top, and repeat until the fish is completely coated in the breadcrumbs and you see no moist spots present. You want the fish completely dried, covered in breadcrumbs. Now I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator for, you know, 15 minutes just for them to kind of seize up in that breading to adhere. And while those chill out and I reset, gives me a minute to talk about our sponsor today, BetterHelp. BetterHelp makes starting therapy easier and much less intimidating for many people. I've been to in-person therapy and if you're like me, you know it can be really annoying. Appointments are always late. You're waiting in a waiting room, feeling just kind of exposed to the world. But with BetterHelp, you can talk to your therapist through your choice of video call, phone call, or you can even send them messages throughout the day as things come up, even if you don't have an appointment scheduled. It's a service that fits your schedule no matter how busy you are. BetterHelp can match you to one of over 30,000 therapists in their network based on your needs, preferences, and location, which gives you access to a wider range of expertise that may not be available in your location. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire that will ask you questions about what challenges you're going through and what kind of therapist you'd like. And then BetterHelp will match you with a therapist in most cases within 48 hours and then you can schedule a therapy session at a time that's convenient for you. And if you don't love your therapist, you can request a new therapist at any time at no additional cost. So if you wanna join the over four million people who have used BetterHelp to start living a healthier, happier life, BetterHelp is gonna give my audience 10% off their first month when you use the link in the description or you go to betterhelp.com backslash not another cooking show. Now let's get back into the recipe. Now we're ready to cook. We've got our fish, our tartar sauce, We've got some American cheese, and then we've got our bun. And these are the ones I like the most for this, for steaming, this kind of sandwich. I know it's super cool to make your own buns, but like, it's a fast food sandwich. What are we doing? And now the secret is a steamed bun. So I'm gonna take three of these buns out. I'm gonna take a Ziploc bag and a little paper towel that I'm just gonna fold into like a little humidifier, something like that, and then I'm gonna get it wet. It's nice and moist. I'm gonna stick that into the corner, and then I'm just gonna place my rolls in it. I'm gonna close it about 90% of the way. I'm gonna pop that into the microwave. 30 seconds before I'm done, I'm gonna hit it for 30 seconds. It's gonna steam those buns real nice. Now we just need to get a pot on high heat. And I like to use this three quart saucier. It's good for frying, it's got high walls, and it's not too wide for frying small batches. Fill it up with about an inch of oil, and while it comes up to temp, prep the cheese, because I'm gonna place it on the fish as soon as it comes out of the oil. And once it's at about 360 degrees, we can go ahead and drop in our fish filet. I'm gonna make sure I circulate the oil a bit so it browns evenly across the fish 
dish and I'm gonna flip it every 30 seconds or so. Try and regulate the temperature to maintain it at, at 360. I really just wanna get a nice golden brown across the entire surface of the fish. Any pale spots, I'll make sure I splash some hot oil onto. And since the fish is so thin, once it's golden brown all across the breading, the fish will be perfectly cooked. No more than two or three minutes. Get that out of the oil. Let it drain on a wire rack. I like to hit it with some of this citric acid powder for a little bit of acidity, but that's optional. And a little bit of salt, and then immediately with the American cheese to allow that heat to melt. And then just repeat that same process with, with the rest of the fish. I left one in the refrigerator, just so you know that you can have this hang out. Maybe tomorrow for lunch, you got a fish sandwich ready to go. You just need to heat up some oil. Once all the fish is fried and the cheese is placed on top, we can turn the microwave on for 30 seconds to steam those buns. And after 30 seconds, we can get them out of the microwave and look at all that steam. The buns are perfectly steamed, which is an iconic characteristic of this sandwich. To the bottom of each bun, I'm gonna place a dollop of the tartar sauce. Then I'm gonna place a fish filet on each one. On top of each fish filet, another healthy dollop of the tartar sauce, and then close the sandwiches up. And I've seen a fish filet at McDonald's. You cannot tell me that this does not look a thousand times better while still looking like a fish filet from McDonald's. Personally, this scratches the itch for me. The fish is moist and it's seasoned. No fishiness, clean. The breading is crisp. That cheese gives you a little creamy mouthfeel, and the tartar sauce is bright and acidic and ties everything together. And the steamed bun, no toast on this one. You gotta go steam. For lunch, a fish sandwich, any day of the year, I'm gonna take. All I'm saying, don't get it at McDonald's. Recipe's gonna be down in the description. That's all I got today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself, and go feed yourself.